God day, gods and goddesses. I am Elegant Soul Food, the Consecrated Nature Baby, here with part two of Get Your Freak On, where we talk about low down freaks, F R E A K, versus Good Freaks United, F R E Q. And I just wanted to give you a definition of, a uh, highlight of what's going to come definition of toxic positivity. Toxic positivity. Um, is the dismissing of emotions and responding to distress with false reassurances rather than empathy. It is well-intended fake concern, denial of reality to minimize and invalidate the authentic human experience. An example or some examples of toxic positivity is it could be worse. Look at so-and-so. You're doing better than them. How is comparing your life to somebody else making you feel better about yourself? That's not a good look. That's not a good frequency. Or they'll say something like, just hustle harder. Just work harder. Just grind harder. Like life is supposed to be hard and life is supposed to be a struggle. Life is not supposed to be easy. Stop being negative. Just think happy thoughts. If you're going through a crisis, you're not being negative because you're explaining or expressing how your heart and your soul has been affected by your human experience. And you can't just think it away. If you could just think it away, nobody would grieve. And you can't just smoke it away and drink it away and pop a pill it away. You got to let those emotions and feelings go through the process that they need to go through. They do anything to try to help you hide your true emotions. And I wanted to give a goddess energy card on that note because I like to get in between your temples and get into the root cause and uh, have us look at ourselves in the mirror. That's the ministry that we do over here. And we have an education as well as financial literacy, especially in our season one. So I just want to get the overall energy for Money Day Monday. And our low down freaks and good freaks united reading as an intro on last couple. Gang Gang Sarah Resistance. It's a beautiful card. If you look at it, she has. Oh, she has four hands and it's like the stars are rising in one hand. The star, oh man, she got six hands. The stars are dangling in another hand. It's a cloud with rain. It's a, a cloud. It's the sun in one hand, the moon in another hand. Can you see that there? Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's represented by the number 22, which is the number four. When you break it down and that's stability foundations pragmatism material reality problem solving so gang gang sarah she said about it about it shadow of resistance this is a goddess from trinidad and tobago um the temple of shadows she's a shadow goddess um of the golden lane. Uh, she's determined by breeze. She's from uh, West Africa to emancipate her family. She is a breeze from West Africa to emancipate her family. Dig what that means in your eye, your spirit eye. Um, you are sacred that, uh, oh, you are scared that you're going to mess it all up. You may have stumbled, but this is a new day. Learn to show up for yourself. Your ghost, your own dreams, you even ghost your own dreams and resist your own magic. Stop holding back. Stop worrying and stop pretending to seek perfection that will never come. When it comes to you stepping up into your greatness, resistance keeps you stuck. Resistance blocks growth, creativity, and evolution. Resistance may look like procrastination, laziness, disorganization, excuses, or lack of motivation, but there are deeper forces at play. 
you are resisting the force you are that you really are. Your declaration, this is me. I show up and I hope you show up too. Again, I'm Elegant Soul Food with the Consecrated Nature Baby and stay tuned for um, part two with Get Your Freak On. Uh, low vibrational, low down freaks and um, good freaks united. As always, I love you. I'll see you in the video.